when you talk about eliminating sugar, uh, how educated does the person have to be? Because if you're, it can be in so many foods, especially in the middle of the grocery store, I guess, if you look at ingredients that you wouldn't even think it would be in. But I mean, it's, it's kind of everywhere, isn't it? Except for the outer perimeter of the right. grocery store is what people say. And it's even in those areas now, 80% of uh, the items in the grocery store have some form of added sugar. Uh, there was a huge movement. It got stopped, thank God, to add sugar to milk. Um, there's sugar in salt. A lot of salt has sugar in it now. So yeah, it's in a lot of things. Um, the best way to do that, if, I mean, in terms of a practical way, is finding a list of sugars. On, um, on my site, I don't mean to plug, but at skinnycoach.com we have a list, 100 names of sugar. Anything that ends in OSC or IDS, you know, mm -hmm. monotriglycerides, those kinds of things, uh, OSC like sucralose, fructose, mm -hmm. all of those are forms of sugar. Honey, I don't care if it's raw organic honey, I don't care if it's stevia, I don't care if it's turbine, brown, whatever. Mm -hmm. No form of sugar. They are all going to raise that glucose level, some more than others. But it doesn't matter, I mean, it does matter, less is better. But it's going to keep the cravings going, it's going to keep the desire for sugar, and it's going to um, mess up that insulin level. So it's just not going to work unless it's abstinence, mm -hmm. which, you know, almost no one is okay with. 